So often when we think about eating beef, it's a knife and fork kind of food. Today, we're gonna make the ultimate beef finger food, Korean grilled short ribs. This isn't a traditional Korean marinade. We've switched it up with a few common ingredients that we think work nicely with this cut. We'll start with a quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, which replaces the rice vinegar in this recipe, a little bit of oil, and then three tablespoons of honey. Then we'll give it a quick whisk to combine before adding the rest of the ingredients. We'll use four cloves of minced garlic for this recipe. All you need to do is give them a good smash and then mince them. There's no need to be super precise with knife cuts here. A good amount of garlic really adds a ton of flavor to the marinade. Next comes the ginger. Normally I would peel this with a spoon, but it's a pretty even shape to just slice the skin right off. Ginger is so aromatic and flavorful that it permeates the air while I'm mincing it, and it really will add a nice punch to the beef. Finally, thinly slice up some scallions on a bias. I like to use the more tender green tops for a garnish at the end, so I'll set those aside. Cut the root end of the scallion whites, then split them in half lengthwise and give them a good mince. I like to use the firmer white ends of the onions for the marinade because they are more fibrous and they don't get super soggy when sitting in the liquid. Now that I've got this all mixed up, I'm gonna get these beautiful certified Angus beef short ribs into my marinade. And you wanna let it sit as long as possible, maybe overnight, more than that isn't really necessary. But because they're cut so thin, that marinade really helps to penetrate and there's just such great flavor and marbling in these short ribs, I can't wait. We'll use a zip top plastic bag to marinate these short ribs. Using a bag like this helps to distribute the marinade all around the ribs and ensures an even coating of that delicious marinade. Once all of the marinade is in there, you'll wanna move the short ribs around to make sure it coats them and gets in between all the spaces of the short ribs. You wanna make sure that the marinade coats well for maximum flavor. Push as much air out as possible before refrigerating them to marinate. I would also advise putting this in a container in the case that any of the marinade leaks. It's important to get the coals good and hot before grilling these short ribs. And for a little extra flavor, I like to put a couple chunks of wood in the coals because it adds that little touch of smoke. Once they have had ample time to marinate, get the short ribs right onto that grill. You'll want to sear them over super high heat because they cook really quickly and you want to develop a good crust in a very short amount of time. The marinade starts to caramelize immediately, so you'll want to move fast. To serve, I like to pile them high on a plate and serve them family style. We've got a sweet and savory finger food that everybody's gonna love. Let me tell you, these smell amazing. I can't wait another second, I gotta dig in. These are seriously one of my favorite foods. They're sticky, sweet, savory, and super rich. I love these beef short ribs, and you're gonna love them too. Thanks for joining me out at the grill, and remember to like and subscribe. See you again next time.